All right, guys, how often do you get to see somebody else's fly tying bench and what's on it? This is a train wreck. <laughs> Let's clean off the bench today, what do you say? I'll call it a bench, you can call it a table, you can call it whatever you want. A unit, it's a unit. First thing off, hmm. Harbor Freight Discount coupons they're still good so you got to keep them just not here that's gone oh it's just landed on the bench this is my list of fly shops throughout the United States pretty cool huh it's probably 15 years old <laughs> Ooh. Quaker marine catalog yep I don't think that belongs on the bench do you guys Ooh, here's a good one here's a good one Eh? Eh? Yeah. yeah. What we got here? Uh, let's see. This is going to take a while. I hope you guys got some patience. We'll see what all we got here. Um, but it's kind of, you know, it could be interesting. It could be interesting. Uh, I'm probably going to clear off my vices too, just because they're just sitting around. I got one vice that's always traveling. Good reels. Great company. Kind of interesting. Sage. That one's loaded with sinking line, so uh, that's my sinker for going to Texoma. And I've got this great little case for it that uh, I made, and uh, that keeps it nice and from being scratched. Double stick gorilla tape. Just use that for some sound barriers. Very cool. Double stick gorilla tape. Good stuff. Leaders. If you got one of these clear guys, you can uh, put your leaders in here and you know what's in there. And I'm getting a little more abstract now. Um, Bubba, shorts. The short scissors, these things are monsters. When you need a monster pair of scissors, this is them, the Bubba's. That stays, of course. Oh! Oh, this is good. My glider is here. You know you gotta have gliders nearby for those times when you need to go on the glide, right? Okay. <laughs> Gotta get some more of these. Ah, here's something new that you're gonna be seeing soon. This is a really inexpensive LED light strip that changes color and you can put it, in, if you have a spot underneath a cabinet or whatever, it's got the sticky and it's also got the the actual like screw in type holders which was what I'll have to use because the sticky doesn't stick on this but I think I paid 20 bucks for 16 feet with a controller and all that that doesn't belong on the bench <laughs> oh here we go always functional you always need some of this around the real deal velcro you gotta have that but not on the bench Now we're, we're getting a little more, oh, pair of gloves, pair of uh, fishing gloves, don't need that on the bench, ah. For your glasses, for your sunglasses, always use a rag now, I told you that before. Oh, here's the box, in case you're looking for some of those LED lights, you can go to Home Depot. We're getting there, huh? Oh, there's my earbuds, I have earbuds, do you have earbuds? Oh, here's a good one. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. I've had that for a few years now since one of the shows in Houston. Great, great idea, great concept. Some very old crackers. My dog's vaccination. Uh, this is a, this is what we used to use in photography. It's called a loop. And this is one that I got for free for buying so much film. Um, and we keep a loop nearby in case we need to magnify something. Here's crown royal bags. Great for covering your, your, uh, vices when you need to cover them up. That vice will just stay right there. Pin. 
here's something great new new colors to me of these bead chains that you can buy also at the home depot that's a neat color right there and they're expensive so they must be good right and then what else oh if you don't have one of these rags get some of these yeah don't need it on the bench though oh these are good circle hooks not many of these left in the world must add circle hooks 399994d that's good stuff this is good and there's not many left in the world uh, more wiring for the LED light there's a remote control there's the hangers might have to get that done what do you think <sighs> This is just black bucktails. A lot of them are chewed by me, and uh, but black, it's just the greatest thing for uh, for bass flies, in my opinion. Oh, here's a buff. That one's worn out, worn thin. You can see right through it, actually. So that's no good anymore. Ah. Nail file, you've seen me talk about these. These are fantastic for sharpening hooks. They put the fine fine sharpness on a hook at least take off the oxidization on your hook make it make it smoother uh, a pair of magnifying glasses I haven't been looking for ah <clears throat> gotta have some lug nuts on your fly tying bench come on now this is for the airstream I don't think so <laughs> Alright, latest issue of Drake Magazine used to come out every month. Now it comes out like what, three times a year, maybe if you're lucky. Maybe. I haven't even looked at it yet. But per apparently this is a controversial cover this year uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, Dymo label stuff. Yeah, that doesn't belong on the bench, does it? Alright. Thread, 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 thread. Need to go. That's, that stays. And if you're looking for a tattoo, be sure you uh, get a hold of me or hit these guys right here. This girl, I should say. It's a girl. I know you fly guys. And she is uh, in the family, so be nice. It's low life tattoos in Denton, Texas. And she gave me my first tattoo, which is that one right there. Yeah. That's pretty recent. Ah, back for a pair of glasses. Oh, now, you know, what do you do? You got all these flies laying around. I've got to get these back in their proper places. Oh, here's a dog dookie bag. I don't think we need that on here. More black. More black. Man, you, you know that I like time black. Alright. Pair of sunglasses without any lenses in them. You know, apparently my folks over at the lens place don't make the lens anymore. This is a limited run pair of frames. Gosh, what a waste. Thanks, Smith. Okay. What else we got? Oh. Oh, you got to have some of these guys. These are what keeps your, your, uh, your paracord tight. Not on the bench, though. Huh? Hammer time. Even the smallest hammer can be useful. Okay, get these flies out of here. Ugh. <laughs> there we go, there's some flies for you. Man, it just goes on and on. Aren't those interesting? I think there's a mix of salt and fresh in there, small and large. Hey, doesn't need to be on the bench. Ah, another doggy dookie bag. Controllers for my LED lights that are going up. I might as well just put those up, don't you think? Put them up right away. We can have all these flashing lights going on while we're time flies and really just, just have a stroke right away. One of my worst ideas. Ah, been using this to make my, uh, and this stays, this gets to stay. This is what I use for drying epoxy on my spoon flies. And my spoon flies, if you haven't seen or heard about them, <clears throat> There's a big debate and a big controversy about spoon flies, and we're going to approach that in a real formal video sometime soon. 
about whether a spoon fly is a fly. Is a spoon fly a fly? I don't know. This is a great little piece right here. This is what you can buy from Rambler, Angler, and Blade. Rambler, Angler, Blade. The guys from Wolf. They've separated their company out and they've separated the fly fishing out. Stainless steel machine in America. This is a, a stem holder for your vice. And there's none better. If you want to build a base of your own, go to Rambler. Get you one of those. They're on sale right now. And they're on sale cheap. Flies. You know, you could get stuck pretty easily with them. I'm going to leave those right there. Oh, here is this. I'm going to leave this up here. This is my generic holder for your pliers and uh, guys this is the deal right here you don't need to send your pliers in you just get you one of these it's on my website ah there's some more of that bead chain get you some move that off we'll get it back and get it all organized ah. secret weapon here a stick on mount that's lost its sticky or uh, ram mounts it's, we're only on this half table now. We still got another half to go, so you better click off if you don't like this. All right, lots of thread. We'll let that stay because we got to hang it up up there in our thread uh, inventory. That's looking good. Got some brand new hooks there. Another one. Oh, there's a patch, man. If you're effing crazy, get you a effing crazy patch, man. That's in the shop, too. Told you. I like black a lot. Alright, here's another light. These are handy. They're handy little lights. Doesn't belong on the bench though. What else we got? Oh! Oh! Here is my. Finally found it! My UV craft light. This is a great light for drying your your UV adhesives and that stays right here so it goes like this so you could think like that it's on a it's on a zinger and you just come down and then when you're done you just like you can just let go of it it's out of the way but it's ready for the next time you have to dry fly which if you're slow like me it might be 10 minutes <laughs> there's some little flies that's oh, really nice little flies you know I use baby flies too that was a PMD that hit the floor. Alright, of course you got to have a mop fly too. There's some organization. Oh, how about a sticker? Yeah. Okay, nope. Yeah, I know. It doesn't belong on the bench. Huh? Another one of these. So I've got a couple of them. Let's just put that one away there. More thread. Organized man. All right, what we got here? This is King Vice, Dyna King that is. And nuts and bolts, hooks. That's out of the way. Andy, Andy Mono. Got to have some of that to tie your own leaders. Andy Mono, nice and stiff for certain parts of your leader. Uh, hook and bullet sunglasses I mean, I'll usually hang I got a lot of lanyards going on in case you haven't noticed I'm a lanyard guy okay there we go we're getting somewhere it's taking forever isn't it hook of the day the shrimp back this guy right here yep that is what I'm using until I find the right hook for my spoon fly there's some Pugliese eyes put that right there kind of down into where stuff here is kind of actually useful the Dyna King should be front and center at all times, almost. Pretty big vice, you know, Dyna King. But I do have for backup. Oh, here's some fly time material that's sitting on the bench right now. I like this stuff a lot. It makes good stuff. Well, set that over there. That gets to stay. Uh... Oh, there's more black. Yeah, you know that. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, now look at this. This is by Rainy. Look at this stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is going to be good. This is going to be very good. I can tell. I just, I would eat it. I would eat this. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, this stuff is the stuff. This is it. Alright, a little more flashy. Got the Mitch Flash. We got the regular, I use this on my black on black clousers. Oh man. Okay. Ooh, we're only halfway there, people. So, got a good cover here for my big vice right there, like that. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. I got a fly tying session tomorrow with veterans. Man. Here's the other vice I like a lot now, nowadays. That's a Renzetti. This Renzetti is pretty neat because it's very compact but very powerful. So I was really surprised at how well it holds hooks for the little bitty size that it is. But yeah, that's the Renzetti. Something going on now with somebody's trying to fly. Somebody. Must have at least, at least one or two bobbins. I've got one or two. That's all right. This is getting complicated. Of course, the Crown Royal goes over the Renzetti. Because they taste good together. Nicely done. All kinds of trash here. I can see my table, guys. I can see it. I can see it. There's some, some uh, beads I'm working with now, the MFCs. You know, just gotta get the beads in hand. That's not so easy sometimes. All right, what else we got? Oh, whip finisher. This is my style of whip finisher, and it's the one I teach with. It's pretty difficult for some people, but they figure it out. Just keep doing it and keep doing it. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Now this is nice. The pinches. Got to have some pinche. Got to have some pinche. That's good. I've got a little little organizer over here that I made out of a piece of block of wood. Block of some mesquite. Yeah, that's mesquite. Oh, you know what these are. The deadly weapon. They stay. Brush for brushing out your uh, eyebrows. I don't know what that's for. Anyway. Well, we're down to it now. Oh, wait, there's more flies. Oh, here's something interesting. Let me get rid of these flies real quick. You want to see an antique? I've got one. Minolta Light Meter. This was my first light meter I got back in the 80s, I guess it was. And I accidentally stored it with the batteries in it, so this is what you get when you do that with the stupid Duracell batteries. Corrosion. It's it's wasted. It won't work anymore. Thanks, Duracell. Junk. Made it into a piece of junk. Alright guys. That bench is almost clear. We're getting there. Oh oh oh. Here's something you gotta have. Not that. No, no, no. I've still got a few things over here. This is a secret thing. This is what you need to see. Well, it used to work. Yeah, those are pretty good for burning ends of stuff, you know, like burning. I like the torch thing. I haven't been able to find any more of these. I, I would buy a couple more if I could find them. They're good for weather too. They'll lighten even in the bad weather. Wow. I'm winded. I don't know about you. It's Friday. Guys, I hope you uh, have a great weekend. I got a lot of work to do this weekend. I got to build some rods for sawgrass. Go to my website. Sawgrass is on there now. I sell sawgrass fly rods. 20 minutes it took me to get just this far. Thanks for watching. Get back to work. But wait, there's more. See, if you watch to the end, you'll get a little surprise or two at the very end of my videos. You got to keep watching. On my bench also, blanks. Got some blanks here for making uh, organizers for your fly tying tools or whatever you want. And 
another vice. I've got three vices on the bench today. Apex, yes, by Wolf, formerly Wolf, now Rambler. This is my traveling vice right here. That bass is incredible. If you get a chance, just go buy the bass, if nothing else. This bass is about the heaviest bass. They won't even tell me what it's made of, but that's an awesome, awesome bass and a really good vice for the prize people. See, you got to keep watching.